Hello everyone and welcome back to this video all about how to add a job board to your WordPress website. Now we deal with a lot of recruitment companies, um, more about that later in the video, and some of the things they want to do involves adding a job board to their site so that they can easily add jobs, post jobs, categorise jobs and obviously get candidates to apply for them. Um, so in this video, I want to show you how we would recommend to add a job board to your WordPress website. It's fairly straightforward and um, the sorts of things that you can do with that. So let's let's get started. Just before we do, if you want to follow more videos about WordPress and WordPress development, then please consider hitting that subscribe button just below. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, please. So let's get into adding a job board to WordPress. So what I've got here is a standard install of WordPress. Just got it set up locally at wptest.test. Um, there's nothing special. This is the front end. I've just got some sample content on here. Just been messing about with some other stuff. And to add the job board, we're going to go and add a plugin. So I'm going to go to the plugins menu and click add new. Now, a job board essentially gives us somewhere in WordPress to add jobs um, and it gives us somewhere to uh, add data about those jobs gives us a listing of those jobs and the ability to view a single job etc and to do that we're going to add a job board plugin there are lots lots of job board plugins that you can choose from um, our favorite is the WP job manager plugin which is written by the team at automatic who are behind the wordpress.com project and various others and it's a really good solid plugin for WordPress, nice and flexible uh, and does, does a really good job. So I've just searched for WP Job Manager and I've clicked on the install. Um, that's added it to WordPress and now I want to activate it. So I'm going to click on the activate button. So once the plugin is active, it's going to give me some options at the top here to run a little setup wizard, which is the easiest way of getting this set up. So let's click on the setup wizard. Now, the plugin does a few things. It allows people to post jobs on the front end. It allows you to add jobs in, in the back end, and it sorts out handling how those jobs get displayed on the front end, and it gives you a little search form, etc. Um, some of it, you may not want to use that functionality, but it's still easiest just to get this set up as it is. So I'm just gonna click the Start Setup button. It does a couple of things. It creates a page called Post a Job, which has a form on it where you can fill in and allow someone to post a job. It has a job dashboard page created, which uh, allows people to manage their listings. Again, if that's what you want to do. And then it has a jobs page, which lists all of the jobs that you've added. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Create Selected Pages. Just to note on the right hand side that these are the short codes that it drops into those pages. Now, if you don't know, a short code in WordPress is something that gets converted into something else when you're viewing the page. So in this case, the jobs short code gets converted into a listing of jobs on the front end. You'll see that in a second. So let's hit create selected pages. Dead quick, it's done that. Now you'll notice that on the left hand side, we've now got a job listings uh, icon appearing or menu item. And if I go into the pages section, you'll see those three pages that's just been created, job dashboard, jobs, and post a job. So if I just edit the jobs page, you will be able to see that that short code has been dropped in here. Um, there it is, just jobs. Um, and therefore we've got the job listings. So what we need to do now is finish setting up this plugin. Now it kind of is working now and it, you'll be able to create a job, that's fine. But there's a few more things that you may want to set up in settings. So the first thing is in the general uh, settings, so you can set whether the date that is shown next to a job is the actual date or whether it's relative to the current date. So instead of saying uh, this was posted on the 12th of July, it'll say one hour ago or three hours ago or four days ago or whatever. Um, sometimes it's quite nice to have. I would highly recommend you do this is to add in here a Google Maps API key. I'm not going to go through how to create a key. There's detailed instructions um, that is provided as the link here. But what that enables you to do is every time you create a job, it enables to geocode that particular job so that you may want to use that in search at a later date. So certainly, certainly something that's worth looking at. And then the job listing settings. So here we're going to set how many jobs to show per page. Uh, the default is 10, but you can show as many as you like. Um, 
and then after that number you'll get a button that says load more if if there are more jobs than that you can show uh, i tick this option to hide filled positions i would recommend doing that so if a job has been filled and you've marked it as being filled it's not going to display on the site in the results or in the archives and um, similarly you want to probably do the same with expired listings and you want to um, hide those uh, as well you can hide the content of those so that you can't see them that's up to you you may want to leave that out there so that google can still pick up the content even though someone can't apply anymore we want to allow categories so job sectors or industries should we say um, as well as job types and i usually let people pick more than one but that depends on what your sectors are i guess um, and similarly we want to enable job types that's like permanent full-time contract etc and again if you want them to allow uh, be able to assign more than one of those you can tick here I'm then going to hit the save changes box <clears throat> um, you can then talk about job submission so if, if you want employers to um, submit jobs now this is more if you want to create a job board where multiple people are going to post to your board most of the instances we deal with it is a recruitment company that has a website showcasing their services and they want to put their jobs that they are um, they're advertising on there so people can apply so it's not really relevant to show um, allow other people to post to the board um, and that's essentially the, the basic setup so if we now just go to all jobs what we can do is just add a new job and I'll quickly show you how this works <clears throat> so very much like a post um, that you've written in WordPress so here's the job title <clears throat> in here would be the job description which you can put what you want in there and then in here we can get to add other things so we can add a job location we can add a company name we can add a company website which provides a little uh, a little link to the uh, website on the page a company tagline again if you're posting jobs then you might want to use these and again if you leave these out then they just don't show on the post so you don't have to use them all you can be selective with them if you've got a little video that you want to show about the job you can do that's a nice touch sometimes uh, to make yourself stand out a little bit here you can tick when the position is filled and that will mean that the job will no longer accept applications and you can also make it a feature listing so it kind of stays at the top of the search when it when it's appearing so if you've got like a, a job that's important that you want to fill you can you can do that and then you can set the expiry date in here and you get a little date picker so we could just set that to something quite long for now but um, and that means that the job will expire on that day people won't be able to apply etc so it's certainly worth uh, looking at that one and then on the job side of things on the right hand side we can assign a category so let's just create a new category for this job let's pretend it's an accountancy job um, you can add a logo as well to, to show in the listings I'm not going to do this point um, and we'll also add some job types so we'll say this is a full-time job and then we'll hit publish and we'll then view that job on the front end there we go now this is going to look very different depending on which theme you've got this is just the default theme I think it's 2020 actually and um, so it's not looking particularly brilliant in this theme but it outputs the job type and the dis uh, and the location here's the date posted uh, like a relative date and um, outputs the logo if you had one the company name the tagline and so forth and there's the job description and then there's a button to apply here as well which uh, we'll just send a, a mail to <clears throat> basically to that email address I'll talk more about that in a second if we just go back to the jobs page which we created that's the job listings page here we go here we get a nice simple job listing again it's quite narrow in this theme but uh, other themes will give you better options for sort of making it a wider template um, we can set choose from searching by keywords location we can choose which category we want to, to search by uh, and we can choose what type of job type it is as well and then the listings get displayed at the bottom if we have more listings there will be a load more button here and you can load more of them um, so that's kind of how that works and um, what's also really good about the WP job manager um, plugin is that it comes with lots of add-ons available so um, if I click on the add-ons tab here 
you can see there's lots of extra things here. I'm just going to talk briefly about the applications one in a second, where you can allow people to apply using an application form, which is a bit nicer, and collect some of the information from them. But it has things like job alerts, so candidates can get alerted when new jobs arrive in specific categories, in specific locations, etc. Also things like bookmarking jobs, so that candidates can bookmark their favourites and come back to them. Um, and there's quite a lot of things that you might find useful on down there. Um, so let's just go back into our admin area and I'm just going to add in here the applications add-on that we have um, already got purchased. We'll just upload it via the uh, WordPress uploader. This is going to upload the plugin and then once it's uploaded as a zip file, I'll activate it. Now it allows me to put the license key in but I'm not going to bother for this instance. Um, and you can now see I've got an applications section on here. I can click on settings just to set this up. So I'm basically saying to WordPress, um, if the normal application method is an email, I want to use the application form. And if the normal application was a URL, as in go to this particular URL to apply, I still want to use the application form to type of override it. What you can also do here is you can set this to um, delete applications when you delete a job, which I would recommend. So all the applications get purged. Um, for GDPR purposes, you probably don't want to keep that data on the website for longer than you have to, so you can set that to a number of days to purge that data. Again, I'd recommend as low as possible. I usually set that as a one. And again, if someone submits a personal data request um, and you action that in WordPress using the WordPress features and tools, then you want to make sure that the applications are also erased. So I've checked that box and I'm going to click save. We just go back to the website and um, here is the single job we were looking at. I'm just going to refresh that page. And what's changed is when I click apply now, I get a nice little form that I can actually fill in and then um, use that instead of sending an email, which is just a little bit nicer. You can also customize the application form. So if I go to application form here, you can see we've got four fields. I could add some other things in here so that I can gather more information about the candidate if that was necessary and something that you wanted to use. So that's the WP Job Manager plugin. It's a really simple yet effective, very, very flexible plugin and great for developers if they want to customize things for you. So if you want to add a job board to your WordPress website, I would really recommend that this is the best option in my opinion. As I said, there's lots of other job board plugins out there. I'm sure some other ones do good jobs, but in my experience, this one is the best one that uh, we've come across. And um, we use it a lot because we have a service called um, Job Relay, which integrates some multi-posting services, Broadbean and Logic Mail and Idaboo, with WordPress. And it works brilliantly with the Job Manager plugin, which is why we've been using it a lot at the moment. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. If you are a recruitment agency and you are looking to add a job board plugin, we'd recommend the WP Job Manager plugin. If you've got any questions about that plugin or job boards in general, then please stick them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them for you. Until next time, I will, um, I will see you then. Thanks for watching.